Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Today is time for another yarn review. Joy and Fabric has a new yarn out and I was able to drive to a different Joanne Fabric and get it in stock as opposed to ordering it and waiting for it to come in. This is the Big Twist Boho. Look at that. It's a really pretty yarn. It really is. This right here is an 80% premium acrylic, 15% wool, and 5% mohair yarn. Sorry for all the people who cannot use wool. I know this will not work for you. Just want to let you know, right? Just like right up at right, right up front. It comes in eight beautiful colors. Currently, I don't know if the line's going to expand or not, but right now it's eight colors. 590 yards. That is a generous, I mean, that is a generous amount of yardage. And look at those colors. That's uh, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, and 540 meters. It says it's a number one super fine. Maybe. And the reason I'm saying that, yeah, it does look like a one, but it has that fuzz factor and so many other things. When it has a fuzz factor like that, they'll up the um, the rating, so to speak. You'll have like a lace weight that's super fuzzy and they say it's a bulky. Like, no, it's not. But it's supposed to be used with a bigger needle and give you that loft and that fluff. So I don't know. We'll see. And it states using size six, and we're going to do this in knit and crochet, size six knitting needles, that's what this is, and a size D crochet hook. So the six is the four millimeters and then the D crochet hook is 3.25. All right, we can, we can do that. We can test that out. Oh, I just dropped stuff. That's okay. And then it says uh, two of these to make a blanket. I have no idea what kind of blanket you would make with this. I don't know. I, I personally don't think I would want to do a blanket with this, but that's just me. It says two to make an adult sweater. So that's an interesting one. Is that knit or crochet in what size? I'm just saying, you know, but two of them is, you know, over 1100 yards, right? Yeah, two of them is over 11, almost 1200 yards. So that's a lot of yarn. So depending on the size needles you use or hooks, it really could be. And depending on the size people. And then it says one, one for a hat, you're going to have a lot left over and two for a scarf. And I, I would imagine the two for the scarf would be, you need part of the second, but nowhere near the second. You know what I mean? one of those type of situations. It says machine wash, no iron, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, uh, dry flat. It says the Ocotec standard. This color is the Lake, St Lake Shore Lodge. And this was manufactured um, January, February, March, April, May, May. Wow. Wow. May of 2024. Wow. That's yeah. Okay. I, I did that. I counted on my fingers. I did that. All right. Yes. So again, it comes in eight lovely colors. This one is the Lavender Daydream. Oh, I'm going to have the ring light problem. Oh, I don't like that. So that's Lavender Daydream. This is the Earthy Rainbow. Look at that. That's really pretty. I like that one. I did get to see that one in person too. That was really nice. The Lakeshore Lodge. That is what this is. Obviously the one that I went with. Um, that's Lavender Daydream. Rustic Retreat. I did see that one in person also, and it is very pretty. So, you know, kind of fun. Um, Sedona Skies. They show what that one looks like a little bit, but most of them they don't show. Okay, so this one actually gave you, that's what they're saying that one looks like. So that's actually really pretty. I, when I got mine, they didn't have any of the little swatches in there. It was just guess guess what you're gonna get i mean you can see it's beautiful but how is it gonna work up that you don't know and this is the one that i wanted but of course the joanne that i went to didn't have that look at that all the oranges and the reds and the purple and it's so bright and it doesn't have a color swatch or it has that so it doesn't have how's it gonna work up what's it gonna look like i don't know but that one was not an option for me which is sad because we know I would have gotten that one. I mean, it's, hello, of course I would have. And then this is Water Lilies, and that is really pretty also. So it does have the eight colors. I, th I think, and I don't know this because, you know, I'm not on the board or anything. I don't think this is one that they're going to keep long. You know, Joanne uh, brings in yarns, and then they get rid of them, right? So it's fun, and it's nice to go because, hey, they've 
And there goes the iPad. They've got all these great new colors. They've got all these great new yarns, but not necessarily thing that's going to be, you get it if you like it. And if you don't, then a new one will come along, right? Like all the Joanne Party yarns and all other stuff and the Fleck yarn, it's already gone. If your yarn store has any of it, it's in the clearance bin and it's just those last few skeins. So I think this one is going to be the same way. Um, and it'll be one that will either appeal to you or it won't. That's a good, well, that's how yarns normally are, right? They appeal to us or they don't. So I, I was intrigued by it. Um, I don't mind the feel of it. Does it have the woolly feel? Yes. Uh, is it the wool or the mohair I'm feeling? Don't know. You know, it's been a long time since I worked with mohair. So I'm not really sure. So I do feel that. Is it horrible? No, it's not horrible. But again, if you're not a wool person, this is definitely not for you. This, if you did want to use it and wool doesn't bother you, combine it with something else. If you want to use, you know, bigger needles, bigger hooks and everything. And that might be really stunning, especially depending on how the color palette actually transpires and plays. Um, on the one picture, it looks like you're going to have some, a little bit of broken stripes. So I think that would be stunning. Here, I, I have no idea. The way that they wind yarns and how it comes up, it's always a surprise. So let's go downstairs and see how it works up, shall we? All right, everybody, let's go ahead and see what this big twist boho yarn looks like on crochet and on knit. To refresh our memories, this is an 80% premium acrylic, 15% wool, 5% mohair blend, big twist boho, a generous 590 yards for your three and a half ounces, that's 540 meters, 100 grams. This is a number one super fine, although it does look like the fuzz factor on it could go up to a two as opposed to just the one. You know, your mileage may vary, so it does say a number one. It says you need two of these to make a blanket, two to make an adult sweater, one for a hat, two for a scarf. This is a machine washable, no iron, do not bleach, do not trumble dry, dry flat yarn. Suggested, please purchase the sufficient quantity to make your project standard uh, verbiage as far as that goes. Ocotech standard 100, which means that the yarn has been tested against multiple chemicals that supposedly will not harm your skin. This color is the Lakeside Lodge. I believe this yarn comes in eight different colorways currently. So it does state to use a US six for knitting. It's four millimeters, so I've got my sixes and a size D 3.25 crochet hook, and that's what I have is my D crochet hook. So we're gonna go ahead and see what that's like. Since this is um, a fuzzier yarn and some mohair, and I really don't want to end up with yarn burp, I'm not gonna pull from the center, although that does look like it's right there. I'm gonna take the label off and go from the outside. And that works out really well for doing the tutorials anyway, so I can rewind it and watch how that's looking coming off. So it's coming off fine. Again, there is a fuzz factor to this. I suspect if you had to frog a project, you might have some issues, but I'm not positive, right? But that is, that's what I suspect. So here's my D crochet hook, 3.25. Go ahead and chain. That's how I do my start. Just to watch that again, I'll pinch it from here. That way, just looks like an E coming on, and then I do my chains like that. So we got a nice it chains well. So no issues with that. So I'm gonna do some double crochet. I love this colorway right here, the uh, that coppery, mustardy color in it. This particular one has three, at least what I can tell from the ball band, three beautiful colors on it. Joanne website does not have any pictures currently showing what this looks like worked up. So I've been having fun with a lot of the different yarns trying to do some little test swatches and working them up and I've actually been surprised. I've not expected the way some of them look worked up. Now of course it's going to look different with crochet or knit or how many stitches you have for your round. That will make a huge difference too. 
So that is a row of double crochet right there. Nothing wrong with that. Didn't have any problems crocheting, no snags. Let's do single crochet. No snags, nothing that you would expect uh, of a possibility of a slightly fuzzy yarn. And some of your fuzzy yarns that are difficult to pull out, you just have to go really slow with them and you can do it. All right, so we added a row of single crochet. So full row of single crochet, started the second row of single crochet. I'm gonna throw a bobble right here. If you've been around a while, you know I like my bobbles. And I know I've asked this before, got to grab more yarn. Let's see how well that comes off from the outside. All right, no issues pulling that from the outside. I have one of those Lazy Susan things and I thought about bringing it down, but that was before I did my video and then I forgot after that. So the popcorn stitch I think the stitch definition is wonderful. That shows quite well. Loving these colors. One of the things that I've also noticed is a lot of times you can go with bigger needles than what the recommendation is for a drapier look. We've already, already known that, but it really I'm finding some of the times the larger needles is just causing or just making just such a lovely fabric. So this says a crochet hook of a D. Well, if you're making something and you want something a little bit looser, a little bit drapier, just go up a size or two. And that's the same for your knitting. It's causing calling for a size six. We'll see what that looks like. All right. so. I've done a one bobble in there. I've done double crochets and single crochets, more double crochets. All right, let me set that down. And I'm gonna pick up my knitting needle. It's my number six knitting needle is what the, what the yarn actually calls for. Get that loop back. Here we go. So since I'm picking up knitting on top of crocheting, I got this here, into the stitch, grabbing that, pulling up a loop. Just the same as you could do that with your crochet hook going all the way across, very much uh, like you would do with your Tunisian crochet. Just grabbing this all the way across. This is a test pattern, test sample, so if you missed a few stitches, if you did whatever, it doesn't matter, it's a test. You're just wanting to see how the yarn works. So there I've picked up stitches all the way across. I'm gonna grab some more yarn since I'm just moving through it. I do like the 540 yards for this. I think it's pretty fantastic that it talks about two skeins of yarn potentially making a sweater. That would be an interesting thing to see. I always wonder, is that a crochet sweater or a knit sweater? And what size sweater? But I think it's fantastic that they give that as a guide. So you can see even on this test swatch, if you are using this in crocheting and knitting and picking up, you have this nice, beautiful chain here. You've got great definition, really, really pretty. You can combine your techniques. You don't have to stick with just crocheting. You don't have to stick with just knitting. It's whatever your creative genius comes up with. I pulled that one off. That's okay. There we go. So my knitting style is the continental style. I learned how to crochet first, and this is how I held my yarn for crocheting. And it seemed appropriate and right for me for knitting. A lot of people will comment that the continental knitting style is faster, but there are some people who do what's called throwing and they are amazing speedy wise. So. Yes, it just depends on the person. So I'm not having any problems knitting with it either. I didn't have any problems crocheting with it. As you saw, let me get this next row. And then we'll see how does this frog.
We'll see how pretty that is. I do like the bright saturated colors. I liked the um, sunset color that they had. They just didn't have that one in stock at my Joanne. There we go. So we've got our beautiful crochet here and our knit. You can see that stitch definition. And this is the recommended hooks and needle sizes. Now let's go ahead, pull this out and see what we come up with. Okay, so we had a little snag on the knit, just a little bit, not too difficult. Okay, we're getting more snag on the crocheting. I noticed that on some of my other pieces too, more snag on the crocheting than on the knitting, just the way the yarn is work. You can do it, but you're going to really have to tease it. So this is going to be something that whatever you're making, be comfortable with it. That's all. You can do it. Don't let it, don't let it dissuade you. Don't let it scare you away from working on something. So what if you make a mistake? Big deal. When you do decide to pull back your mistake, you just have to go really slow, really easy, one, one or two stitches at a time. Don't force it. And you're just teasing out those threads that just don't want to be pulled out. So I like the yarn. I like the way that it works up. If you're a beginner and you're a beginner crocheter, maybe this is not the yarn for you to play with because I could see that being frustrating. But if you've been crocheting and knitting for a while, no big deal. Not a big deal at all. If you foresee, um, like if you're making a New design, I wouldn't do a new design with this. Maybe once you did your prototype, then do the design with this afterwards, because when you're designing, part of the process with designing is working up your whatever and then pulling it out as you change your mind and going back and forth. So I can't see this being a good one for that process, as you can see. But I think the finished product, once you got your prototype, would be stunning. So as you can see, you can do it. It is slow, be in a good mood, and you might end up just losing the whole chain. That depends, because the chain is always the hardest one to pull out. Let's see if we can actually get it. Should have done a larger test swatch on the knit. So I've noticed the knit doesn't have the problems as much for pulling out just the way because of the way the yarn is used in knitting as opposed to crocheting. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to salvage the chain. Oh, did it. Ta-da! All right, well that is our Big Twist Boho yarn. 80% 80, 80 premium acrylic, 15% wool, 5% mohair. Crochets and knits beautifully. The knit seems to pull out decently. The crochet is a bit of a frustration. All right, that was so much fun. You wanna you wanna see what I've done? Do you do you do you wanna see? Do you wanna see? Oh my goodness, yes. So I did get two of them, and this is what I have of my second one. You can see I've done I've gone through a bit, right? And I set that down here and look at this. So it does stripe. And I am working on, the ball band says using, using size sixes, I'm using size eights, right? And that is beautiful. So I've also got it on the mannequin just to see what that looks like. Uh, it's my first time putting it on the mannequin and it's, it's coming up nicely. I really like the way that this looks. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to get it. I don't know if I end up keeping it or I give it to somebody else. That I don't know. But this is the Big Twist Boho using size 8 knitting needles in action. And that's what I mean by you can use larger needles than what the ball band says. And that's not so see-through that you can't wear it. It's not so see-through, you know, <laughs> I, I wear undergarments. Um, it's not so see-through that, you know, oh wait, that's going to show all the all the parts and we don't want that. But it, it's airy, it's light, it's airy, it's, it's a fun pattern. This is a free pattern from the hobby website I will link down below. 
that you can go ahead and look at if you are interested in this stuff. But this is my latest. Look at that. There we go. Right? I mean, you've got to play with the yarn. There. <laughs> So the big twist, boho in action. I really like that purple. I'm sad that they didn't have in in mind uh, the uh, that sunset with the really brights. But this bright purple with the um, mustardy, orangey, coppery color. Oh, oh my gosh, it works. It it definitely works. So I am happy with that. I do like the way that this is working up. I do like the way that that's looking. Um, how many inches do I have from the underarm? That I don't know. Got a handy dandy little tape measure here. And about four inches. And I believe that I'll probably want that anywhere from 13 to 15 inches, somewhere around there. Not really sure. There you go. So it's it's a good ways. And I'm a XL. And this one says like a negative E, so we'll we'll see how that works. Um, this is my first skein. Here's my second. I haven't used at all. So pretty sure I will be able to get the full sweater with, you know, two skeins. Um, and I could probably do the long sleeve, just like it sh says, easily doing a long sleeve and plenty left over. So we'll see how that works out. So let me know what you think of this yarn. Is this something that you would buy? What color would you get? Do you like that? Um, it does have some issues with pulling out, but you know, everything has, has a little ups and a little down. So your mileage may vary on that. With that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.